everyone, John Wild with the Eco Guys, and okay. Unfortunately, today I got to use the, the the crappy camera, so bear with me if this doesn't look good. And I know I got a really green, really weird glow. I'm not sick. It's it's something I'm experimenting with. Hey, green light, green, the eco color, the color of green. Anyway, today's video is kind of <laughs> that's going to be annoying. Hold on, let you see more of my fat. Today's video is going to be one of my kind of getting. Well, you know I'm going to mention something about being green. Hold on, let me let me move this. Let me move me. Something about being green. Uh, but today, let me get rid of that light. Let's just let's just be so unprofessional. Maybe maybe if I. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh Lord. Okay. Sorry, folks. You're just gonna have to put up with it. Uh, we're gonna do a, a fun thing today, which is one of my taste test things. So right now, Papa John's is out, and they are just raving about their paninis. Did I pronounce that right? Panini. So I got Papa John's panini. Uh, let's see if you can kind of take a looky here. There's a Papa John's panini. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, the first thing I realized, now with the Papa John's panini, you get a pepper. Now, if you don't eat your pepper, you make sure you throw this out into your garden. It's really good for that. Eco, 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 eco. Uh, and a uh, little thing of marinara sauce. Say that, boys and girls. Marinara sauce. Anyway, so we're going to try... Papa John's new panini. Now this is the pepperoni sausage panini. Now, can can you see that? All right, let me actually show another one here. You get you get one big one cut in half. There it is. Now the first thing I notice about Papa John's paninis is the simple fact of what's going on here folks they they advertise it as a as a as a dough stuffed kind of like a call zone but a smaller one but when you realize and you just open it up all of a sudden it's just it really it's just a small flatbread pizza cut in half and folded over that's all it is rather disappointing i thought this was something different and special no they just make a small pizza cut it in half and fold it over there's your panini now if there's an italians out there tell me is that a true panini i don't think it is i don't think i've ever had a panini like at an italian restaurant <sighs> yeah. so i'm a little disappointed there all of a sudden my big question is in your area comment below in your area, tell me the area. You don't have to be specific, I understand. What's your favorite Italian restaurant in your area? And have you had a panini at this Italian restaurant? And what's the difference, do you think, between this and what you had? Let me know. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, we're going to take the special sauce. Oh, God, I can't say special sauce without saying... To all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, onion, pickles on a sesame seed bun. Okay. Here's the uh, sauce. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> I almost dripped that on my computer. Let's see here. The Mimino's sauce sucks. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a taste test of a panini from Papa John's. This will be the sausage pepperoni panini by the way and uh, I'm going to bite it first plain and then we're going to dip it and try it and we'll see what it's like so here we go let's try it Bad. 
even if it's just a Papa John's pizza, pull it over. Papa John's got some great pizzas. I will admit to that. So we're going to dip it in the sauce and see what's going on. So we're going to just dip it in the sauce here. So this would be a panini with the marinara sauce. Here we go. Let's try that. Okay. Papa John's paninis. Um, much rather prefer to eat them without the sauce, to be honest with you. Okay, much rather eat them without the sauce. Okay. Um... <clears throat> From a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. Say what? 10 deep being the greatest thing in the world, deserves its own award ceremony, fantastically beautiful, and all that other kind of stuff. I'm going to kind of do a, 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 a taste. A, 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 I'm going to do it this way. All right. We're going to forget that I put the marinara sauce on there. So the marinara sauce was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. I'd rather Papa John's put their little butter thing that they do with the pizzas in there, to be honest with you. Um, so, from a scale from 1 to 10, the Papa John's panini without any marinara sauce, pretty damn good. I'm going to give it an 8. 8. Because... It actually really is tasty, and I really do recommend you try it. Now, have you have you tried this before? Have you eaten a Papa John's panini? And they're different flavors. I think they got a chicken one. They got all different kind of flavors. They got a buffalo one. They got a, I think a, a steak one or something like that. Have you tried these? What flavor or whatever? What panini did you try? And what did you think about it? What did you think? And let me know. But for right now, I'm going to say the sausage and pepperoni Papa John's panini is a definite 8 out of 10. Very, very tasty. And I really did enjoy the uh, the thing. By the way, are mukbang videos still a thing? I'm just curious. When you just sit there and watch someone eat. Because I could make videos like that all day long. <laughs> now, here's a, a really quick ego tip at the very end. There's been a lot of talk all over the internet about pizza boxes not being recyclable, okay? Um, incorrect. I do have videos about how to recycle a pizza box correctly and how to deal with the grease that's inside. But, you know, as I open up this one and I look, the grease that actually has touched the cardboard box is so absolutely minimal that this actually can, you know, despite what even recycling people like scrappers out there want to try to be experts in their field uh, they, they hear one little rumor and they think it's true it can be recycled now if you have a lot of grease on your uh, pizza box that can't be recycled because the grease breaks down and it just won't it breaks down the cardboard and it's just not good to recycle it in that case if you run across boy there's a shadow on my neck Did you notice that I need to get more better lighting. I thought this green thing would be really cool, but maybe it's not. Maybe I need to get a green one coming up. Because it looks like I'm like, you know. Anyway, I do need to shave. Anyway, the two things I do with pizza boxes that have grease on them is you can actually kind of rip it up a little bit. Panini. And put it in your compost pile. Just down deep in there. It will biodegrade, and that cardboard will turn right into compost. Wonderful stuff. Secondly, whenever I barbecue, I don't use coals, and I don't use lighter fluid. Don't. 
There's too many studies out there that show that these chemicals in the coal and the chemicals in the uh, lighter fluid stay there and actually rise into your food. Way too many studies that show this. And plus, I, if you cook with natural wood, like hardwoods, like oak wood and some other hardwoods, um, citrus, um, and, and all this, just basically wood, um, it, the meat tastes better. I think it tastes better, and there's less chemicals. And how I light these is paper that I can't recycle. I just shove at the bottom of that thing, including pizza boxes with grease on them, and I light my barbecue with them. It's keeping this item out of a landfill but if there's very minimal grease and watch my video it's in the description watch my video on recycling pizza boxes I got a couple of them out there uh, if it's very minimal to no grease recycle these things we need to try to start saving as many trees as possible you know all this that you see going on with this climate change has got some something to do with fossil fuel burning but it's mainly because we're deforestizing deforestizing deforesting <laughs> the world and these trees are in the world to to filter out these bad chemicals that get into the uh, the upper atmosphere and eat away the ozone layer and cause all of this and then nine times out of ten a lot of times crap winds up in the ocean that's a whole different story we're talking trees right now because we're talking cardboard we're going to try to save as many trees as we can possibly save on this planet because that is what's going to cool the planet and clean the air these trees so, we're so, we're so we have something that's going to cool the planet, clean the planet, and save our lives. So what are we going to do? We're going to cut them all down. So try to recycle your pizza boxes as much as possible. And if they're, they're not recycled, keep them out of the landfill anyway. They're, you, you think they're going to biodegrade in the landfill. They don't. I got a story about that too somewhere along the line because it's a vacuum in there. They just don't biodegrade. And uh, use it to light your barbecue grill to your outside burn pit or put it in your compost and return it back to the earth from whence it came. Okay, you've been watching the Eagle Guys. We did a taste thing on the Papa John's paninis. Let me know what you think. And stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more videos and some more taste tests. Uh, we do have another Papa John's taste test coming up soon. So watch out for that. It's the Eagle Guys. Get green, get wild, and stay happy. Danger. The emergency destruct system is now Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.